I'm speaking with Colette Metro and Daniela Guitar, who are young students um, with us at the NCAF conference, and go, going to ask them a few questions about um, their experiences in climate change adaptation and what their views are about issues and challenges into the future. So, Daniela, we'll start with you. Can you tell us what you've been doing in the climate change adaptation space? Well, at the moment, I'm working with NCAF, so I'm a research assistant there and trying to help out there as much as I can. And my last year's honours project involved urban food production and community gardening as an adaptation strategy in Brisbane and the Gold Coast. That's a really important area to be working in, I think. And Colette, what about you? Um, Yeah, I've done a little bit of work in adaptation over the years. At the moment I'm doing my PhD, um, looking at how households are preparing for bushfire um, and what that might say about longer term adaptation. Um, yeah. Okay, that sounds really interesting as well. And you've obviously got plans for the next year, Colette, you're going to be carrying on with your studies? Yeah, so I'm about to start field work and that will probably take me through to the end of this bushfire season um, and then it's just riding up and scratching my head doing some analysis and all of the rest of it so yeah okay great and Danny what do you what have you got planned for next year um well I'll continue to work with NCAF and my plans is to apply for a PhD next year so I hope to start maybe at the second um half of next year hopefully okay so well that, that's a big challenge lying ahead for you yes so talking about challenges what do you see as the big challenges that we need to face in in climate change adaptation Well, I think it's great to see the amount of research that um, is happening in all areas, but I think the biggest challenge is climate change, is how interdisciplinary the area is. It's not only um, a problem that involves people looking at one specific area, so the challenge, I think, is the communication um, for all of us to really engage with the other disciplines that are involved and try and solve this problem together as opposed to um, just in our own disciplines. I think that's a very good observation. What about you, Claire? Um, it's probably communication is a similar thing and I, um, yeah, I, I think there's a need to communicate differently in the way we do research and our approach to research could be a little bit different. Um, I think we've got quite a lot of good climate science that's um, been going quite strongly for a number of years now. We've got quite a bit of good modelling that's out there. Um, It would be great to see some more empirical studies that uh, really look at how communities are um, responding to the possibility of change and what sort of um, options they might be happy with to consider in the future for changing. So a bit more of a community focus, a bit more empirical studies. Okay, so a big challenge for some scientists to take on board. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. And, I mean, given what you've seen at the conference, do you feel that we're making any movement forward in adaptation? Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, it's the first um, NCAF conference I've been to. Um, um, But from from what I've heard from colleagues and other people at the just through this conference is just how what a buzz there has been for this conference and um, a real sense that things are moving, that climate change adaptation is really on the agenda, not just in our little research space but across government and that, that, that things are sort of starting to happen, that there's a bit of momentum and I think that's that's a really positive um, thing to be seeing. Mm, that's yeah. terrific. Danny, what about you? I agree with Colette. I think it's been a a great conference and um, taking on what I was just saying before, it's great to see people across all disciplines coming together to try and communicate. Um, So I think that there is great science and now this is a really good instance to communicate and get across all levels. All right. Well, it's great to have young people like you involved in the whole program and taking it forward because I think, you know, the the future's in good hands. So thanks very much. Thank you. (laughs) Thanks.